Hi, Sam here from the Sam Musa Show. Uh, today we've got Brad Nemish here and we are going to be talking about uh, credit score. All about credit score and, and what you need to know. Brad? How are you doing, Sam? I'm great, Brad. How are you? Good, good. Uh, so the most important thing you have to do with credit uh, is have some. Uh, you can have a great job, you can have a great down payment, uh, but if you don't have credit, then you're probably not going to get the mortgage that you want. Uh, there are five major factors involved in making up a credit score. Uh, the first one and the most important one is making sure that you actually have some kind of capacity and boring capacity with credit cards. Okay, So okay. having two or three credit cards, um, but the most important thing is making sure that the amount of debt that you have is as little as possible as compared to the high credit limits of those scores. Okay. If your cards are maxed out all the time, then you're not controlling the balance of the card. The card is. Okay. All right. Good to know. Now, everyone talks about payment history, or they don't talk about their payment history because they've missed some payments. It's really important that you always have, uh, make sure you make your minimum payments every month. One late payment can stay on your credit report for up to five to seven years. Wow. And this is critical. People think that it's okay to miss a $10 payment. It's never okay. Between those two things right there, that's 65% of the credit matrix that makes up your score. Okay. Um, another thing that's important is CMHC wants to see that you've got credit for more than two years. Uh, and, and that is critical. Um, another factor is credit seeking or the amount of times that you've actually had inquiries. The average is three to four a year. So when someone says to me, oh, I don't want you to pull my credit score, um, it's really not that big a deal. You can have multiples. It's when there's 10 or 15 in a year, that can be a bit of a problem. Okay. And then you want to have a mix of credit. Not only do you want to have credit cards and line of credit, but you also want to have loans, whether they be student loans or investment loans, car loans, leases. Um, and then, of course, mortgages. Mortgages now show up on credit reports, and that's critical too. Okay. Um, lastly, you want to make sure that you never get in too much of an argument with your cell phone company. Because if you default on your cell phone bill, or you have an argument or billing, billing dispute, it'll go to collections faster than you can imagine. And typically, that's your... Worst case scenario is when have, having a cell phone company putting that into a uh, debt. Absolutely. They'll send it to collection and, and they won't even tell you about it. And it'll be, it could be $50, it could be $300. And then you have to go through the task of paying the collection company and getting the release letter and getting it to Equifax. Wow. And there's a number of challenges there, but I know all the steps. So if there's one little tip that you can give the viewers, what would it be on credit? Have credit, keep your balances low. Perfect.